Yo, 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 what up, YouTube EX? It's your boy Daddy Easy here, iPod Jailbreak Hacker, otherwise known as Only Use Me Tomahawks. Some of you guys may know me as Easy, like I always say, to the black, to the blue, my avatar on my YouTube channel. Yeah, buddy, so I am back with another video, guys, and so this is a proof of concept. This is basically going to be my modification for a reshader to give you guys a little bit more color, a little bit more pop, and stuff like that. So, what I need to do right now, I need to pop in um, a command real quick. So we're gonna put this in. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, that's just to get rid of a lot of that um, fog and stuff on here. So um, here's basically what's the shader I'm rocking with as mine. So everybody know there's a um, shader out there that's called Unrecord or Rerecord, whatever the name you want to call it. Unrecord. Um, so it gives you that first person tactical, um, body cam footage. So basically it looks something like this and let's turn that on real quick. So it gives you that type of look right there. Let's switch over to my pistol. Let's see right there. Sorry about that. That happens a lot of times in shaders. Sorry. That's my fault. So as you can see right here, so basically gives you this type of look. So. I still need to do fi fix mines up. So basically mines, as you can see, these have a lot of reflection on it with the, um, basically it's supposed to be the camera, um, lens. So um, basically what happens is what the flashlight stuff is on. The reason why I can't rock this, as you can see the camera flare right there, it gives more of that camera look, as you can see, that's going around on the sides. Um, when you play darker maps and, um, maps that has a lot of lights with it like um the nightclub or you go inside a dark place when you turn on your flashlight um because of the flare towards the camera lens as you can see right there it makes it so you can't even see what's going on and um makes it harder to play mines have more of a um shakiness towards the screen mines have some bokeh and everything on it so as you can see on there as you can see the actual lens dirt and stuff on it i actually got to finish tweaking mines but as you can see right there you can see when you go left to right you can see that camera flare the lens flare right there all right so let's switch over to mines right now um i do have a few in here this is the two that i actually finished working on but this one right here you click select and this is mines right here Mines actually takes away a lot of that extra color on it and give you more of a natural look towards it. But basically, mines does give you some camera shakiness. So when you look left to right, you can see that the cameras actually shake and the lens move with it. As you can see, the bokeh right there. As you can see, I have I do have the lens flare on it. What I did was I made it minimum. So when you're in locations. You don't get a lot of that camera um flare look on it as you can see right here reason why i did it like that is so when you're in places like this as you can see you don't get a lot of that camera flare now if i switch it up and put it back to record right here on record you see that lens flare Now, the problem what I have with that, I'm going to show you guys right now, is when you get into a dark location. That's basically what happens. You see how that when you get close to objects, you barely can't see anything. You get a lot of that lens flare and that glare right there. It makes it hard for you to really see. You can't really see what's in front of you. So if there's a target, there, you really can't see. So. I made mines a little bit um, darker for mines. So let's switch over to mines real quick. Let's go to test one. Okay. So now when you're in darker places, you get closer to the walls, you're not blinded. You, like I said, you still get the bokeh effect. You still get the lens um, flare, but it's not as strong. And you get more depth, which makes the thing looks more realistic. As you can see right there. You 
get a lot of the effects but here's one thing that mines does that a lot of, as you can see when i turn left to right the camera shakes a lot and you can see that it's moving now i have a, a simple effect on mines which is called um eye adaption so basically what eye adaption does is basically this so if i go inside of a room and it's dark did you see what just happened like that so if I go here and turn eye adaption off, you see what's happening? Come in here. So basically, as you can see right there, You see like that. As you see. So basically when I turn eye adaption back on. I put it so it gets a little bit brighter so I can see. Now the reason for that is. When you hit darker places. It takes. It, basically what it does. It gives you more time for his eyes to adjust. And it adjusts a little bit slower and a little bit quicker. As you can see right there. So basically, when I go inside of a room with a flashlight on, my eyes is adjusted towards the darkness. And it's only going to adjust right there towards that. And it's going to slowly implement in so my eyes actually adjust in towards everything. See right there. So right now my eyes is focused right here so basically you get a lot of dark your provisional gets darker yes yeah, so you can see right there you see when i was walking in i changed rooms so i just got brighter Eyes is adjusting just like that. So if I turn it off, which I want to show you guys real quick. Back off. Okay, adjusting. I just want you guys to actually see when I'm walking in and out. Just letting you just see how his, the eyes adjust going in and out. As you can see right there. Back out. You see how basically it is. So I basically got it that the eyes adjust a little bit quicker. See, that takes a while for you know for the eyes to adjust on you you can just tweak with that on um, it's also with the eyes colorings and stuff like that so I'll pop it in like that that way it's really easy, way way slow so we're gonna pop that back on As you can see right there, eyes are just super quick. Also with the flashlight. Like that. Focus more on it. So as you can see right here, got the eyes. You got the adapts and delay. The brightness changes. Um, I can make it adjust very slowly, but I want to be able to, your eyes adjust a certain type of way. As you can see right there, get the foot um, off, pull everything. So basically, I set this up so, like, as soon as I get inside a certain place, my eye can actually get inside 
and focus up everything very quick. That's basically what mine does. But I still got to work on um, some parts. I'm going to show you my other setting, which this is this one. This is the actual finished one. This is more for more brighter light. So this gives you more of a... Um, more of a... Um, unrecord type of look. It's a lot more bright as you can see right there. Get that camera flare. Lens flare and stuff like that. This one is more brighter. It's more pushed out a little bit more. It doesn't have more of the following effect that I have on my other one. Then I have this one right here, which is actually complete. This is super bright. So this is supposed to give, as you can see, this one has a lot of bokeh. It has a lot of camera flare like that. So this is supposed to be more of the unrecord. I need to actually add um, frame rate on here to give it more of a fast type of look. So I'm going to take you guys in game real quick to let you guys see exactly how it looks with everything. Um, one of the best maps I'm going to show you. Let's take this off real quick and let's throw it back on and record. Okay, let me just get out of here, turn the effect off. So I want you guys to actually see. So we're going to go towards. We're going to do. I want to go towards the outside. Um, cycle house, metro. No, turn it back. I know which house I want to go to. It's just I gotta find it on the map. Right here. Now, as you can see, this is green. All right, you're gonna notice the tones on it is gonna change. I gave it a more realistic tone towards it, so it's gonna have more of the unrecorded um look um i still gotta tweak it i still gotta get that dirty lens on it i still gotta get um the lens scratches and stuff on it so i'm still tweaking a lot of stuff on it so i can perfect the of um, the way how i want this thing to actually be on here now mind you guys um i am running a lot of mods on here so it's going to run a little bit slow also i'm not running this on my ssd i'm sorry my m.2 this is on a regular hard drive so it's gonna take some time to actually load up. Um, I am I will be buying an M.2, another M.2 in um a couple of days. So I will be having more storage on here for things. But yeah. But um yeah, this is my proof of concept to let you guys see exactly what's going on. Let you guys um be able to download it. It's gonna go up to Nexus mods. Um as you can see, I got the umbrella tactical gear on here. Um I am working on things with Resident Evil. So stay tuned for a lot of stuff. I'm telling you guys to stay tuned. All right. All right. So this is what the map look like. Switch All units, we need those suspects dealt with Coming and map location you, locked down. Now I got a big mod on his thing. All right. So let's run my mod real quick. So that's unrecord. As you can see right here, I need y'all to stay right there. Cover me now. Getting there now. So as you can see right here, this is what this looks like. Now, let's run mines. So as you can see, you got a more realistic look, a little bit darker. As you can see, when I move towards certain parts of the location, the eye adjusting pops up. I just basically made it so it looks more realistic. So when I get inside shade, it gets dark when I'm in shade. When I take cover near cars, you see that my eyes adjust towards different parts of the game. So when I get inside. Let's open this door. Got more of a realistic in look. Let's throw her up.
Now I got frame rate limiter on here. Basically what it does is make it look a little bit more realistic. And as you can see, the thing is wicked. <laughs> it is wicked. This thing is loud as hell. Gotta turn that down a little bit. As you can see, um, I do have a lot of mods on it, so an engagement is way different. <laughs> and my SWAT team basically goes up. So basically, yeah, that's the proof of concept. It makes it look more realistic as you can see the gunshots in my headset. So it's dumb loud. Coming to you, sir. All units, Stay we need right officers there. to lock down the location. Expect resistance. Me and them stay right there. We're gonna do it one more time. I have this thing set to hard because it's supposed to uh, have it set for tactical. So it's gonna be more harder to kill everybody. Okay. Just said to turn my headset volume down. It's too loud. I got this already in it because of the own volume. I only got two mags. So this is why I basically have it like this. Down, right code three. <laughs> this is why I love my shader a little bit more better compared towards um the other one. I'm gonna show y'all how record looks. Um trying to engage with the way I got my targets is a little bit more harder. I got this set to medium instead of hard. Um I got um I here I come, something like that. I forgot the name of the um, mod, but it makes the um AI way aggressive. It is way fun to um clearing out the rooms and stuff like that. I'm gonna show you guys a little bit later on. I'm gonna run unrecord real quick so you guys can actually see that. Be advised, so, criminal activity reported at the location. Right here. Push them out and lock Coming the area you, down. With that. So let's run the unrecorded shader. You guys stay there. You stay there. Cover me now. Yeah, stay there. I'm gonna show you the difference why um why I like mine's a little bit better. I mean the look one here looks good, don't get me wrong. It's just the colors. It's just the colors on it. Um I can increase the colors on it if I want to. But mines give it a more realistic type of look. Let me see your hands. Let me see your hands. You Mama, almost on ammo. Suspect down. He's still alive. Acknowledge 13. EMT has been called. I'm on ammo.
I told you this thing three. is not easy. It is really not easy. <laughs> All right, guys. So I hope y'all like my proof of concept. Um, as you can see, it's way um blurry. That's the whole reason why I don't run with that, and I mostly run with mines. As you can see, it takes off a lot of that blur and stuff like that. All right, guys. I'm gonna catch you guys later. That's it, and I'm out. Deuces. Um,